嚟到二零一四年嘅第四条题目啦，就有关于植物嘅。咁而家我哋见到呢两幅图咧，都系劲嘅环切面，咁啊嚟自于两棵植物啦 ，A 同埋 B。我睇题目咯 ，Part A 啦就叫我哋睇翻 A 嘅呢一幅图，佢系一个用四十倍嘅放大率去观察嘅一个劲嘅环切面。佢而家就想我哋依照翻呢幅图去画翻一张有标签嘅低倍数图像。咁自不然今次考我哋嘅技巧呢，就係、是、生物科嘅绘图啦。咁有啲咩嘢要留意嘅呢？等第一啦，就係、是、画完幅图呢，记住有个标题啦。标题呢，直接抄返嘅啫，就係、是「劲嘅环切面。但系佢係边一棵植物啦？係 A 呢棵植物嘅劲嘅环切面，而佢嘅放大率呢，係四十倍。好多同学呢，都係漏寫咗四十倍，或者呢，寫返 low power 呢，就算数㗎啦。但其实题目係讲咗俾你听係四十倍嘅，所以啦，一定要寫返嘅。第二啦，画图嘅时候记住一笔过啦。好多同学呢都会选择扫描嘅，因为想扫描返个好似个椭圆形啊咁样出嚟嘅圆形啊咁样。咁但其实呢都系错嘅。cell 咧唔系烂晒㗎嘛，你个 cell 系一笔过嘅，见到成个径呢系一层层嘅分层嘅。咁所以画图嘅时候呢，亦都要记紧啦。今次呢幅图呢，其实都只不过系低倍数啫。咁未至于高倍数要望到个細胞核啊嘛。咁見到細胞核嘅話，我哋就記住用個點點呢，去多多多多多去顯示一個深色嘅位置，亦都唔好用一個掃描啊，掃掃掃掃掃掃到會變黑色，都係錯嘅。咁而家咧標題就一分，畫圖正確嘅又一分，咁即係剩低嘅三分呢，就係、是、標籤啦。咁記住標籤呢，就用返水平線咁樣去引申出嚟，就唔好呢令到啲線呢上下重疊咗，形成一個交叉。咁樣嘅話呢，你幅圖都係唔清晰嘅。然後到 Part B 呢，就利用返呢兩幅圖，就推論返啦，究竟 A 同 B 呢兩棵植物，佢主要係透過咩方式去支撐自己呢？咁呢個題目呢，第一就要我哋分得清喺呢個 A 同埋 B 嘅植物入面呢，邊個係採用咗薄壁嘅細胞去支撐。另一個呢，係邊個用口壁嘅細胞去支撐？由薄壁同埋口壁嘅細胞呢，我哋引申出嚟嘅就係佢哋嘅膨脹程度同埋佢哋嘅硬度啦。所以一開波就要講返 p l a n A 呢，佢大部分都係薄壁嘅細胞。而 Plan B 呢，大部分都係一個口壁嘅細胞或者佢哋嘅木質部，所以咧 Plan A 呢，主要就係透過膨脹度，透過吸水令到個細胞膨脹而提供一個支撐嘅能力。相反啦。B 呢棵植物呢，佢主要就係透過一個口壁細胞佢嘅硬度，例如木質部，佢有一個厚啲嘅細胞壁，從而就提供支撐嘅。好，又嚟到一點出發嘅時間啦。今次呢條題目呢，就係由勁嘅環切面去入手嘅。第一樣要考我哋嘅呢，就係傳視技能。今次唔係話點樣去學識睇數據啊、畫圖表啊，今次係生物科嘅繪圖啦，就要畫返呢一個勁嘅環切面。究竟點樣畫呢？有啲咩嘅技巧呢？大家要掌握返啦。第二樣要考我哋嘅呢，就係植物嘅支撐，咁你要去回憶返膨脹度同埋硬度啦。之前都有 M C 同埋長題呢，都係考呢啲嘢㗎啦，唔記得呢，快啲去睇返啦。呢條題目啦，有啲咩嘅變奏呢？今次就係問你植物嘅支撐，下次問下你植物嘅運輸又得唔得啊？而喺個植物運輸當中啦，又係要講緊韌皮部同埋木質部當中可以有啲咩考你呢？例如左手邊嘅呢個實驗啦，就係、是、將棵植物擺喺一個紅色嘅墨水個樹，然後浸佢落去嘅話啦。咁究竟當棵植物不斷咁樣去失水，然後有個吸水嘅情況底下啦，咁佢就吸啲紅色嘅墨水啦，佢就會問下你咯，喺我哋成棵植物嘅根部啦、個茎部啦、佢哋嘅木質部同埋韌皮部，究竟邊一度會顯示一個紅色呢？同埋啦，除咗問你吸水之外呢。亦都可以問下你一棵植物呢，佢做完光合作用底下，佢所產生嘅一啲糖分，就會經過韌皮部運送去植物嘅唔同部分。而當中啦，我就將嗰個碳呢，就係、是、活躍咗佢，就係、是、變成一個有輻射性嘅碳。咁我哋又會喺個植物嘅邊一個部分去睇到一個有輻射性嘅碳嘅顯影呢？咁所以啦，呢幅圖同埋呢幅圖呢。我哋成日都會見到噶啦，只係爭在今次油啲咩顏色咁解啫。如果你要油紅色墨水嘅，咁啊當然油返呢個木質部嘅部分啦。咁如果啦有呢個碳嘅顯影，可能係黑色啦，就油咗喺呢個韌皮部嘅部分。咁今次嘅題目問你勁啫嘛，下次問你根得唔得啦？梗係可以啦，仲可以仲可以問下你有關於植物吸收嘅題目添。Two one four question four is about the plants, so we can see the cross sections of the stem of the plant A and plant B. In part A, with reference to the photo micrograph A, draw a labeled low power diagram of the setup PQR. So you can see that why it is low power because we only use forty times 
magnification to observe the cross section of the stem. So that's why when you are drawing the diagram, you need to specify it is under the observation of 40 times magnification. In this question, is checking our biological drawing. So anything we need to be aware, first of all, for the title, cross section of the stem of plant A. Somehow you can just copy it from the question, but you need to specify it is plant A. As I mentioned, you also need to talk about the magnification 40 times. And then for the drawing, remember that when we are doing the biological drawing, we use one stroke to present the drawing, to present the cells or tissues, but not doing the sketching. For the sketching, it means that the cell wall, maybe the cell membrane, it looks like be, being broken, 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 broken. And then we use the all broken lines to form a cells, form a tissue. It is not correct. So when we have the correct drawing, one mark, and for the title, also one mark. So that's why in this five marks question, we need three more marks. So for these three more marks, it is the labels. So for the labeling, remember that we need to use the horizontal line to do the labeling to prevent interception of different lines of the labeling. And they are the fundamental skills of biological drawing. One more thing I would like to remind is that we are using the 40 times magnification to observe the cross section of the stem. So that's why we cannot see the nucleus. But what if we are observing the nucleus would like to indicate the darker region of the nucleus. Remember, we need to use the dot 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 to make it darker, not use the pencil to shade the area. And in part B, with reference to the photomicrographs A and B, deduce the major means of the support in plants A and B. So the first concept we need to identify the thick wall cell and thin wall cells in the stem of plants A and B. And then we need to recall the support by turgidity and rigidity. Therefore, we need to mention that the stem stem of plant A have a larger proportion of thin wall cell, while the stem of the plant B have a larger proportion of xylem or thick wall cell or woody tissues. Therefore, plant A is mainly supported by the turgidity. It needs to absorb the water to make the plant cell become turgid and provide the mechanical support. And on the other hand, the plant B is mainly supported by the mechanical or physical strength or the rigidity of the thick wall cells or the xylem vessels because, because we learned that there is a layer of lignin on the cell wall of the silo vessels. Let's talk about the curriculum mapping in this question. It checks you about the synotic skills. Time we are not checking about the data analysis of the graph plotting. It's talking about the biological drawing. Any skills you need to get familiar with. And then we talk about the plant support. So that's why you need to recall the concept of turgidity and rigidity. And any question variation. This question it asks you about the plant support, but what about the plant transport. So you need to recall the silent vessel and the photo vessel. It may use the scientific investigation to ask you these concepts. For example, we put the plant in the red dye solution. and the plant lose some water, there will be a transpiration pool for the water absorption. And so the question may ask you to draw the stem or the root cross section. You need to show where is the red dye. So of course, xylem vessel, when they transport the water, they will also transport the red dye. So we need to draw it red in the xylem vessels. Or we change the question a bit. This time I allow the plants to absorb some radioactive carbon dioxide and allow the plant to undergo photosynthesis. So it will produce some sugar. And for the sugar, it will be transported in the phloem vessels. So you need to draw the stem and the root cross section and then show me where is the radioactive carbon. 